हेलो दिस इज जोमेट्री लेसन फाइव इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस सेंटर्स ऑफ ट्रैंगल फर्स्ट सेंटर इज ओर्थो सेंटर दिस इज अ पॉइंट वेयर परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम वर्टिस टू अपोजिट साइड्स मीट लेट मी मेक द परपेंडिकुलर दिस इज फर्स्ट एक्यूट एंगल ट्रैंगल परपेंडिकुलर और एल्टीट्यूड सेम थिंग यू कैन सी दैट एल्टीट्यूड दिस इज राइट परपेंडिकुलर From B to side AC, this is perpendicular. From C to side AB, this is perpendicular. This point O, this point O will be the ortho center. The ortho center will lie inside the triangle in a acute angle triangle. Ortho center will lie inside the triangle. Where the ortho center will lie on right angle triangle. This is right angle triangle DEF. We have to draw. perpendicular from vertices to opposite sides d is the vertices opposite side is ef already there is a perpendicular at point e from vertices f from point f there is a perpendicular on de at point e already there is a perpendicular from point e to df this will be a perpendicular these three altitudes of perpendicular meet at point e so very important the in a right angle triangle the ortho center will lie at the right angle this point e ortho center will lie at the right angle in a right angle triangle and what about obtuse angle triangle where those center will lie in this we have to draw the perpendicular from vertices to opposite side now from p to opposite side extend this side pq this is a perpendicular from p to qr uh what about r to we have to we have drawn the perpendicular from point p let's draw the perpendicular from point r to the opposite side pq extend this pq now this will be a perpendicular this is just making them this is a perpendicular from r to pq and from q to pr this will be perpendicular so these three perpendiculars will lie will meet outside the triangle so very important in a obtuse angle triangle the ortho center lie outside the triangle now what kind of question can come first of all uh, the question can come like this let's say 4 cm 5 cm and 6 cm these are the sides of a triangle sides of a triangle this is given to you these are the sides of a triangle now question can come where the ortho, ortho center will lie now first we need to determine what kind of triangle it will make and we have the way we will find the square the largest side 6 square and we will find the sum of squares over the two sides which one is larger 4 square plus 5 square is greater than 6 square or you can see that 6 square is less than 4 square plus 5 square square of larger or larger side is less than the square of other two side it means that this is a acute angle triangle and when you know that this is a acute angle triangle the ortho center will lie inside the triangle ortho center will lie inside the triangle so that kind of simple question can come in this so that was ortho center next is centroid this is a point where medians from vertices to opposite sides meet let me first discuss the concepts of median a median is a straight line that draws from the vertices to the opposite side and that divides the opposite side into two equal parts if i say that ad is a median if i say that if ad is equals to the median you can say that this side will be equals to this side a median divides the opposite side into two equal parts bd will be equals to cd that is the meaning of median now the first concept that comes in a median related uh, is that a median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area very important property a median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area how we can prove this 
Now AD is a median. This is not a perpendicular altitude. Let me do the do the perpendicular. Uh, can I see that A? This is a perpendicular. I am drawing height. Height for the triangle. This is H. Now we know that area of triangle ABD. I am can I'll calculate area of triangle ADC. Are they equal as per my property? Median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area. What is the area of triangle ABD? Area ABD. Area means that half into base. Base is BD. Into height is H. What is the height of triangle ADC? Again, this is half into CD into H. Very important property is that when you draw a height, the height will be same. For both the triangle ABD as well as ADC, the, for both the triangle the height will be same. The basic concept is that if you have one triangle, you can draw as many triangle inside this three triangles: triangle number one, triangle number two, triangle number three. All will have a same height, and that will be the height of the big triangle that is H. So all these three triangles will have a height. That is same. So very important triangle. If you can make one, two, three, four, or n number of triangles within a triangle, the height of all the triangles will be same. So in this case, the big triangle is ABC. I have drawn made the two triangles ABD and ADC by median, and the height of these two triangles will be same. BD is equals to CD. Same thing. Height is equals to height. So can I say that area of ABD? Will be equal to area of triangle ADC. So that is my property. Median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area. Let's now discuss about the centroid. As I told you, centroid is a point where median from vertices to opposite sides meet. Let me draw the median. This is the median. This will be equal to this side. This is the median. Median may or may not be a perpendicular. That will depend on cases. Sometimes median median is also a perpendicular, like in equilateral triangle that we will discuss later. But median basic is that it divides the opposite side into two equal parts. Same way, this is also the median. Now this point G, this point is called as centroid. The point G is called as centroid. Now centroid has a very important property. Let this point is D. This is E. This is uh, let's say F. Now, what the property of, uh, of the centroid is that centroid divides the median. Centroid divides the median in the ratio two is to one. Very important property. Centroid divides the median in the ratio two is to one. It means that AG this part. Is to GD. This will be two is to one. Same way, BG is to GE. Uh, this will be two is to one. Same way, CG is to GF. This will also be in the two is to one. So every centroid divides every median in the ratio two is to one, and the same will be true for uh, right angle as well as obtuse angle triangle. You can say that centroid lies inside the triangle in a acute angle triangle. Where it will lie in a right angle triangle? Let me make this. This is the equal. Again, you can see that centroid lie lies inside the triangle in right angle triangle also. Where it will lie in obtuse angle triangle? Let me make this median. This is two equal. And this is this, one two three four, one two three four. So can I say that in obtuse angle triangle also median lies inside the triangle. So not median, centroid lies inside the triangle. So whatever be the kind of triangle, whether it's a acute angle triangle or a right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle, the, your centroid will lie inside the triangle. What is a centroid? Centroid is the point. Where median from vertices to opposite side meets, and very important property in centroid is that it divides the medians in the ratio one two is to one, where the two part 
will be from the vertex to the centroid and one part will be centroid to the opposite side point next is very important property centroid divides a triangle into six triangle of equal area look okay, at so this there are six triangles triangle number 1 triangle number 2 triangle number 3 triangle number 4 triangle number 5 triangle number 6 these six small triangles are there my i am saying that your centroid will divide these six triangles they are six triangles are all out of equal area how we can prove that very simple we can prove that you can take the triangle bgc in triangle bgc what is the median can i say gd is the median and we know that median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area this bgc is a big triangle inside bgc there are two triangles inside bgc there are two triangles triangle 5 and triangle 4 now gd is the median so median will divide the two triangles one triangle bgc into two triangles of equal area so this area is x this area is a we can say that this area will also be equals to a area of both these two triangles will be same same is true for can i say ge ge is also the median ge is also the median if i take the triangle agc If I take that, I take the triangle ABC. GE is the median, and median divide the triangles into two triangles of equal area. So this area is B. This area will also be equal to B. Same is true. This area is C. This area will also be equal to C. As GF is also the median. GF is the median of triangle ABB. So median divide the triangle into two triangles of equal area. now we can take the triangle ad is also median of big triangle ad is also the median now so area of triangle abd will be equals to area of triangle adc as median divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area i am taking the bigger two triangles abd as well as adc now what is the area of abd this is c plus c plus a This is B plus B plus A. Now A and A will get cancelled out. You get two C is equals to two B. Uh, B is equals to C. Same way we can prove that B E is the also a median. B E is the median. Now this divide the triangle two triangles into equal area. So can I say that triangle area of triangle B C E will be equal to area of triangle. b a e as b e is the median b e is the median so this will be equal so can i say what is the area of triangle b c e this is 2 a plus b a plus a plus b i'm just adding the area what is the area of triangle b a e this is 2 c plus b so b and b will cancel out you will get a is equals to c now compare this you will get a is equals to b is equals to c now is simply you can prove that a is equals to b is equals to c it means that area of all these six triangles are equal so very simple to prove that you can prove this that centroid divides the triangle into six triangles of equal area by simply taking the first smaller medians and then the larger median so that was all about lesson 5 centers of triangle in the next lesson i will continue with more on centers of triangles thank you